So today I want to talk about, um, well, I'll give a little update about how the hives are doing. This won't include any action shots because I've been checking on them off and on throughout the week, but I haven't, it's literally been quick checks here and there. So in the near future, I will open up the hive and do a more thorough thing where I bring the camera in and let you see what's going on. So we'll talk about that in a second. But before we get into that, I just want to talk about that little setup there. So I'm going to try to get a little bit closer. Last time I just actually took a thumbnail photo um, for this video and I got so close. I think I got some really good photos, but the bees got very upset and they kind of dive bombed me. So I'm giving them a little bit of space right now because I don't have my bee suit on. The great thing is these Saskatraz um, bees are very, very gentle, very, very kind in general. It's the first time I've ever tried them. They're a brand new breed. Um, actually very, very, uh, considered very gentle, very good honey producers, um, but very mite resistant and very cold hardy, more so than any other variety uh, bred thus far. So anyway, we'll talk about more, them more in the future, but I want to mention, because I don't think I've actually talked about uh, specifically the, the breed before. So um, definitely look them up and I'll talk about them in future videos. But I just want to talk about my little bee drinking fountain here. Very simple. I took out, I had a bunch of um, plant uh, coasters, uh, little drip pans, and I just threw some rocks in there. And I, every day I pour a little bit of water in, and I'm going to try to get close. And the bees sneak in there, and they take little drinks. Now the rocks are there just in case, so the bees don't drown. You know, because if it was just water, the bees could potentially fall in, die, and that would be really sad. But the rocks give them a nice place to settle in, and I'm going to try to get in closer again. Look, they're all over it. They love it. So they go there, gather some water, and go back to the hive. Now, the downside is I do attract some other random flying, stinging insects. <laughs> you know, I've had wasps and hornets take a little drink too. But there's so many bees there too that they kind of push away the intruders. But um, it's been a really nice setup because they don't have to go far to get water. And, you know, in the suburbs, everyone's got flowering plants of some sort of another. So lots of pollen and lots of nectar available for them. So I'm really, really excited. Both hives are doing well. Uh, let's talk about a little bit of an update. I'm going to stand back again, try to get out of their, their return path to the hive. So Rebel Hive, STM Hive, is uh, still chaotic. Um, me putting in a bunch of uh, frames of foundation did not really course correct them. In the middle, the middle four or five frames are just kind of a mess diagonally and horizontal, and it's just kind of crazy. They have met, they have reached the, the the foundation frames I put in, and th that has caused them to start in some ways redirecting. They basically connected to those those frames, but now on the foundation they are actually filling out as you would expect. They're just starting to build into those frames. So hopefully at least those frames will be straight. Um, they're starting to fill in pretty good. I'm, I ordered some new foundation frames because I'm thinking about putting a second box on before the year is out. We'll see how it goes. But um, CMT Hive is doing is doing really great. Um, they're continuing to, to, they haven't touched the two uh, foundation uh, frames I put in, but they've actually kept pretty straight with the foundation list frames. So I haven't had to do too much with them. So that's the quick update. Again, in future videos, I'll take you along for, um, you know, the inspection where I actually bring the camera in and, and you can see what's going on. Um, future videos, I'll, I'll talk more about this breed, the Saskatraz. I know it sounds like something out of Harry Potter, um, the Saskatraz breed. Um, if you have any questions about them, go ahead and post below and I'll try to my best to answer them. But I'll also answer those questions in a future video, hopefully. So in any case, if you uh, like bee videos, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm really excited because they seem to be doing amazing. Uh, this little fountain is working out well. I fill them up with water every single day to make sure they have some available. And uh, yeah, so give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for joining me on this journey.